Good morning, dear friends. Today we are going to see the next class, the chlorophycine. We have studied about the general characters of algae and seen the first class, cyanophycine, which belong to the monerans, prokaryotic cells. Then we have seen the detailed structure of colonies of nostoc, its reproduction and all other details including the life cycle. Today we move on to the next class, the chlorophyta. We can have the syllabus here. The syllabus shows the types included in it. The chlorophyta is known as the green algae because they are perfectly green in color. They are considered as the forerunners or ancestors of the land plants because it is considered that it is believed that all the land plants evolved from some or other member of chlorophyceae. What are the general characters of this group? We have to study five types in this large group. They are distributed from the unicellular type to highly evolved type Gara. Today we introduce the group with a discussion on the general characters. It is a very short video on the general characters of chlorophyceae. Chlorophyceae means the green algae. The chloro means the green pigment which is present in the algae. Chlorophyll. And according to Fritsch, it is a class and many other scientists. As you have you can see, they have classified chlorophyta giving different status to it and all these classifications are based on one or the other uh, speciality of this particular group. Please consider it as chlorophyceae and the Smith, Tipper and Bold treated it as division chlorophyta. Prescott in 1969 considered it to be the rank of phylum chlorophyta. Papen first included the suffix phyco to the division and chlorophycophyta was given. Later, Bold and Wine also followed the same pattern of classification. 11 classes under algae and the general characters of this particular group or identifying differentiating characters of this group are the pigments are chlorophyll A and B, carotenoids and xanthophytes, chloroplast has pyrenoids, cell wall is made up of cellulose, flagella is present and it is of equal flagella so they are also called as isocondae. Reproduction by vegetative, sexual and asexual methods and uh, highly evolved sexual reproductive mechanisms can be seen in this particular group. The classes under chlorophyceae are given here. They are the volvocales. In volvocales we have volvo volvox as a type for detailed study. Then the chlorococcales. Chlorococcales includes the unicellular type chlorella that we have to study in detail. Then eulotricales. The Eulothrix is the type, Cladophorales and the Cladophora is the type you have to study in detail and Ketophorales, example is Frustiella which is a common type but need, we need not have to study uh, it as a type. Then the Eudagoniums where the type is Eudagonium, it is a very interesting uh, filamentous alga, we will study the type in very details. Then the Conjugales, Conjugales we have studied Spirogyra in your plus two classes, and the best example is Cyanema, uh, but we need not uh, study that particular type. The Siphonales, where the type is, example is Vucheria. Then the last group, the Carails, where the Cara is the uh, type we have to study in detail. What about the occurrence of Chlorophyceae? Chlorophyceae live in almost all kinds of environmental conditions but most of them are fresh water there are some marine forms there are some terrestrial forms there are some epiphytes there are even some parasites so let us see which are they 
members of conjugates such as spirogyra cyanema etc and eudogonians eudogonians are strictly fresh water types the members of alvesi alva which is a common alga present in the uh, shores of kerala you can see you can find out alva in uh, vidinjam tirumullavaram uh, etc uh, it is a marine ketophorales and cladophorales live both in marine and freshwater environment and uh, some species of eulothrix and vaucheria are subaerial and grow in damp soil some members are terrestrial and grow as epiphytes in on tree trunks leaves etc and one of the most interesting chlorophyllin member is the cephalurus which is a parasitic alga living parasitically on the leaves of tea plant which cause disease in the organism there are parasitic forms also under chlorophyllin there are some forms living in the hot springs for example the some species of chlorella a chlamydomonas there are some species living in saline water and there are some symbiotic forms which live in association with the fungi in lichens then what are the characteristic features of chlorophyllin we can see one by one first one is members of chlorophyllin live in fresh water most of them are fresh water plants some are seen in brackish water brackish water means namalo kailgal ennu parayna വാട്ടർ ബോഡീസ് തന്നെയാണ് ബ്രാക്കിഷ് വാട്ടർ എന്നാണ് ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്നത് അതായത് കടലിനോട് ചേർന്ന് എന്നാൽ കടലിൻ്റെ അത്ര ഉപ്പില്ലാത്ത അവിടെ വാട്ടർ ബോഡീസ് ആണ് ബ്രാക്കിഷ് വാട്ടർ എന്നാണ് നമ്മൾ പറയുന്നത് ദേ ലീവ് ഇൻ ബ്രാക്കിഷ് വാട്ടർ ആൻഡ് സം ആർ മറൈൻ സെക്കൻഡ് പോയിന്റ് ദ താലസ് റേഞ്ച് ദ റേഞ്ച് ഫ്രം യൂണിസെല്ല ടൈപ്പ് ടു ഫിലമെൻ്റസ് ടൈപ്സ് ടു കൊളോണിയൽ ഫോംസ് ടു ഹെട്രോട്രിക്കസ് ഫോംസ് വെയർ ദ പ്ലാൻ ബോഡി ഈസ് മെയ്ഡ് അപ്പ് ഓഫ് numerous filaments club together to form a pseudo parenchymatous tissue like organelle there are some pameloid stage or pameloid type alga there are some heterotrichous there are some siphonaceous types so the thallus structure thallus organization is very much diverse then coming to the flagellation flagella are one or many they are of equal size equal length same types that's why they are called as the group is called as isochondae here you can see the 9 plus 2 arrangement of flagella and triplet configuration of basal bodies of flagella in the case of flagella there are nine fused pairs of microtubule doublets surrounding two single central microtubules in the case of basal body which is seen which is the connecting region of flagella to the cell nine triplet configuration is seen there are no central uh, fibrils but we can see nine triplet fibrils we will study the mechanism of locomotion and the orientation of basal body and flagella etc when we study the ball box coming to the cells cells are eukaryotic there are some unicellular algae but all are eukaryotic usually one nucleus is present in every cell but there are some cynocytic forms or multi cellular forms where cross walls are formed after the nuclear division so the plant body will be a syncytium then in such cells the cells are multi nuclear usually one nucleoli will be present in every cell in every nucleus but sometimes in some conjugates there are more than one nucleoli per the cell wall is made up of cellulose and there are some other polysaccharides or carbohydrates such as hydroxyproline glycosides or silanes and mannanes there are also some carbohydrates we are not going to the details of the structure but we can see the uh, molecular structure or structure formula of these compounds they are also modified uh starch or carbohydrate in the case of cara the plant body is encrusted with calcium and magnesium carbonate so the plant body has a rough surface this roughness of the surface of cara is due to the deposition of this calcium and magnesium inside the cell wall there is a protoplasm the protoplasm is bound by a plasma membrane 
and the protoplasm the, the the cell is a eukaryotic cell so all the cell organelles are present there cytoplasm contains numerous small vacuoles and the small vacuoles push the cytoplasm to the periphery and this kind of cytoplasm is known as primordial utricle then another important feature is the flagellated forms flagellated stages in the chlorophyceae as in the case of Lamedomonas, we can see it is a flagellated cell and even in some times where the organism is not flagellated there are some zoospores or gametes which are flagellated all these flagellated forms have a, an eye spot eye spot is the light recognition point light sensitive point so with the eye spot they can respond to light can move towards light or away from the light they can sense light there is a eye spot towards the anterior end just behind the uh, flagella the pigments the photosynthetic pigments are located in the chloroplast and the chloroplast contain pyrenoids pyrenoids are protein bodies which store starch so in many groups of algae we can see the pyrenoids and such forms will be having starch as the result. The main pigments are chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B and they dominate over the other pigments such as xanthophylls and carotenoids. So the, uh, the plant body is green in color. Phycobilins are completely absent and the reserve food material is amylose and amylopectin. Uh, they, are, they are types of starch. The reproduction of chlorophyceae is by vegetative, asexual and sexual methods. The, all these three methods are very much diverse and very much complicated in different types. You will see uh, the reproduction of sexual spores produced in chlorophyceae in another class. So all the kind of vegetative, asexual and sexual reproduction spore forms are there. Again asexual spores, there are some perinating asexual spores and also fast reproducing asexual spores but the sexual reproduction usually takes place towards the end of the favorable season. Again the sexual reproduction is also show very much diversity from the simplest type of isogamy to oogamy. Isogamy and isogamy and oogamy can be traced in the chlorophyceae where isogamy is the fusion between the equal type of gametes and isogamy one of the gamete will be larger and bigger. In the case of oogamy a well-developed egg is formed and it is considered as the most evolved type of sex. Another important feature of chlorophyceae is the haplontic life cycle where the plant body will be a haploid plant body and the diploid stage is represented only by the zygote. So the meiosis takes place in the zygote, zygotic meiosis takes place, spores are produced, the spores develop into the plant body then the plant body directly produce gametes without reduction division the reduction division takes place in the zygote so it is known as zygotic meiosis it is a typical character of chlorophyceae